Okay, check out this. Have a look. Have a look. That is Corona discharge. Let me explain what that is. Let me call this term. Can you see? Can you zoom in? Can you see it? Yeah. You can see it. Okay, that electric charge is ripping ions off of the oxygen and the nitrogen in the air right now. It's basically a mini ionosphere, but way denser. That's electrons in motion. Have a look at this. How cool, right? Okay, I'm going to tell you something even cooler. You see these electricity pylons, right? You see how far they go down the road. Some of these pylons go on for thousands and thousands and thousands of kilometers, right? The frequency is 50 hertz. 50 times a second, there's an oscillation of alternating current going through these pylons. But at one point, and here's the crazy part that Tesla said that no one else agrees with, but I think is obviously right. If you get these pylons to around 15,000 kilometers long, Actually, let's reverse that to around 3,750 kilometers long. That's a quarter of the wavelength of 15,000 kilometers. That's how good my maths and my brain is when I've had a couple of drinks. If you get the wavelength at four times, the, if you get the um, antennae a quarter of the wavelength to 3,750 meters long with a 15,000 kilometer wave, which is the speed of light divided by 50 hertz, Roughly speaking, I wanted to say that for physicists out there who might take this seriously. If you get that number right, I believe these pylons resonate, resonate an EM field with 50 hertz, and at that wavelength, these waves go out forever and ever. And people don't think about that. They think about high frequency because photons, the, the, the strength of a photon is down to the, the, the higher the frequency, it, the, the more power you have per photon. And she's laughing at me. <laughs> but what people forget is that even though we're super low frequency, we've got 30,000 volts up here, 30 kilovolts up here. So that should not be ignored. 